What's going on guys? Welcome back. Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be checking out a fight scene from the 1997 Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Definitely the least favored out of the two uh, 90s Mortal Kombat movies. It's sitting at like a 3 out of 10 on IMDb. But you guys have been asking for this one a bunch. One particular fight scene is Scorpion vs. Sub-Zero. I can't think of a more iconic fighting game duo than these two. Uh, and we've got the fantastic Keith Cook who played Reptile in the first one coming back to play Sub-Zero this time and we've got JJ Perry who is a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo and a second degree black belt in Hapkido coming to play Scorpion. So we've got a pretty good pedigree coming into this fight. Hope you guys are excited for it. I am. Let's go. With your powers, you want to stop crying. Oh and that is uh, Talisa Soto playing Kitana. So you guys can go look it up later. Let's hope you succeed. <laughs> I don't know why they... Do they try and make this serious? Is that what happened? Like, I know Mortal Kombat is a gritty fighting game, but it's not... It does not suit itself to being serious, let's be fair. It's supposed to be campy goodness. Alright. It's a handy skill, that, eh? Just make an ice out of nowhere. Oh, we got the sentient rope darts from the first one making the return. This time they're dragons. Cool. Oh, he looks so much cooler in the first one. And there's Ed Boon with the voice again. <laughs> Didn't realize the ice exploded when you hit it with stuff. Oh, very nice. Okay, not very sturdy ice now. <laughs> Oh, nice slam. Like that catch underneath the knee. Big flip hits him with that uh, like atomic style slam. Hulk Hogan. Oh, big up kick. Oh, see you later, Scorpion. <laughs> Seems a bit unnecessary. Oh. I don't know what they call that in diving, but I give it a 10. Oh, nice little crane kick there where he lifted up the one leg, push kick with the other. Fighting in tight space is very difficult. Those straight line attacks are going to be great. Uh, turning side kick like he just did. Fantastic attack in these tight quarters if you've got the, the speed and the know-how to do it. Round kicks and spinning round kicks, spinning back kicks is going to be a little bit tougher. Or spinning heel kicks. Alright, we're back on open, open space now. I love how Scorpion doesn't move at all. Like, he just stands there totally still while Sub-Zero just runs up him. Bit of a variation of what we call, like, monkey climbing the tree from Moibaran. Except in that, you elbow. In this one, he just kicked him in the head. Oh, T. <laughs> oh, nice catch on... Oh, nice attempt there. Very nice from Scorpion. Misses the jumping spinning back kick. Manages to get the kick back though. And then just melts and dis... <laughs> I do love the 90s like uh, effects here with the wires. Oh damn, Scorpion's back! <laughs> I love revisiting the old special effects here. That was a good fight. It was that you know, fast paced. Without Katana, it's over. But still We've very lost. clear action. It's I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> anyway, guys, there you go. Scorpion versus Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what we need to watch next. And then subscribe so when we get around to doing the scenes that you want to see, you don't miss out. Till next time, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.